Oh. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna backtrack. Wait, your yes. name is Matt O'Connor. Yes, sir, Matthew O'Connor. Matthew O'Connor, right. and you are an actor in two of these short films. Yes, I am. I was fortunate enough to uh, get tagged in the first film that we're gonna see today called Philly Furnished. I play the lovable mobster leg breaker Elmo, and um, the improv that Steve and I had as Frank and Elmo, Matt loved so much, he wrote Mama Needs a Ride. Nice. and made us the leads. Very cool. So I was like, wow, I went from a supporting to a lead. So he booked into films, uh, the, this festival, around those two nice. films. So we're, we're going to be in the beginning and the end. Very cool. So Packing it all in there. Oh, absolutely. You got to do everything you can, everything you can. So you're a lovable mobster. Yes, I am. OK, now, do you know any lovable mobsters maybe that you pulled from for this character? Well, I'll give it to you this way. I'm originally from the Bronx yeah. in a little a, neighbor, a little neighborhood called Morris Park, which is a wonderful neighborhood. And I grew, grew up there my whole life, and my wife's also from there, and all my buddies still, we still go there and hang out. And there are a couple of guys that I wouldn't say, I wouldn't exactly say they're mobsters, but I wouldn't know. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of modeled certain aspects of what I do towards... Totally people you what, see in the what street. What they may be doing. What they may those. be doing. At two in the morning when their house is burning. That's correct. <laughs> you know, and it's not very easy for me because my last name's O'Connor. Oh, yeah. And I'm not a, Italian at all. No. So, you know, I can, as long as I can play it off, it's all that matters. Top of the morning to you. Now I'm going to break your legs. Oh, that's for sure, lad. Now you know. That's for sure. <laughs> very cool. Now I have one question for you. Yes, if you sir. could be a lovable mobster or an evil mobster for one day of 24 hours, and you could totally just be in the shoes of that one mobster, and I'm going to raise the stakes, all right? You now have a million dollars. You're the head of household, the mobster who, of the who Bronx. Would who would it be, and what would you do for that day? It would be Al Capone. Definitely big Al Capone. And it would be Robert De Niro's Al Capone from The Untouchables. Wow. Because he had it all right there. He was sure the did. king of Chicago. Yeah. So I would be the king of Mars Park in the Bronx. That'd nice. be great. And all my friends would be with me. All my buddies. You know, I have a 20-year-old 20, 20 daughter. And I tell her all the time, your first, you know, the first time you bring that man home, mm. it's going to be me and all my friends. It's going to be me sitting with the cat, like, <laughs> like Marlon Brando and the guy flung on. Tell me about you. What are you doing for a living? Huh? And all my friends are going to be there, and that kid's going to go, ah! and he's going to wet himself. Yes. So. And then he will be playing on his computer while his house burns down at 2 in the morning. Correct. Correct. <laughs>